YouTube and welcome to another video. I thought I would actually do a recipe video for once today. Um, the whole point of this channel originally was to share vegan recipes and vegan lifestyle tips and I haven't done a recipe video in absolutely ages so I thought I would do a recipe video today. So I'm going to be making almond hummus courgette for you today, or well, not for you, for me actually, for lunch, but you know what I mean. Um, if you hear squeaking in the background, it is my guinea pigs. The second I start cooking, they know there are vegetables about and they decide that they want some, despite the fact they've already had a massive bowl of greens this morning. So um, if you hear squeaking, that's what it is. Now, you do need a bit of a, a gadget for this recipe because... Um, well, you don't. You can buy already spiralised courgette, but I have a spiralizer, so I do it at home. My spiralizer looks like this. I got it from Amazon. It wasn't very expensive, and it does the job. So that's my spiralizer. So this recipe is actually really, really easy. All you need is one. It's extremely large, but you don't need a massive courgette. That just happens to be the only courgette I've got. So one courgette. In the spiralizer, spiralize the courgette, voila, courgette noodles. Now, I personally put, um, blah, 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 what am I trying to say? My brain has completely gone to sleep already and I've only just started this recipe. Um, brain, what am I doing? I normally saute an onion, chop it up, stick it in a frying pan with some coconut oil. You can use olive oil, you can use whatever oil you've got kicking about. I like coconut oil. It's really healthy and it's good for you and that's why I use it, because I prefer it. So, but olive oil does the job just as well. So, saute an onion in some olive oil to go in with this. It just gives it a bit more flavour, a bit more texture, rather than just having the courgette by itself. If you haven't got an onion or you're short of time and you can't be bothered, just do the courgette. Much easier. Um, so, I'm going to do my onion in a minute. Um, I need to find an onion. I haven't actually got that out ready. One second. Uh, onions. So, good grief. That is a mahoosive onion. One mahoosive onion to go with one mahoosive courgette. I seem to have oversized vegetables today. So, yes, as I was saying, I'm going to slice up the onion, dice it, stick it in some coconut oil, fry it off in a frying pan. I'm then going to spiralise the courgette. Um... That will then be ready to go in a bit later and then I'm going to make the hummus. Now, for the hummus, you need... I don't have exact measurements. I eyeballed this, guys. I'm really sorry, but roughly some almonds. I'm probably going to use all of the ones that are left in here. This isn't a whole pack. Um, I would say a biggish handful of almonds. That's my kind of suggestion on size. My recipe also doesn't have measurements, so... I just kind of guess and hope for the best with this. So, you will need some almonds. You will need some coriander. Now, I don't have any fresh coriander because I need to go shopping. What else is new when I do these videos? I always need to go shopping. So, for, to have a similar flavour, I am going to put in coriander powder. Obviously, fresh coriander would be much better. It will work better. I haven't got any. What are you going to do? You're going to try your best. So... Hopefully it's going to work. <laughs> also in there, it says one regular tomato. Well, guess what? I don't have any regular tomatoes, but I do have fresh, lovely baby plum tomatoes. Small, well, biggish handful going in the blender with the hummus. Then I'm going to add the fresh juice of one lime. And add some... Oh, I didn't mention. Hang on. Also, and... Ta -da -da -da, Two garlic cloves, they're going to go in there. See them a bit better, hang on, there you are. Two garlic cloves. <laughs> they're going to go in there with some salt, with some pepper, with some, and this is where your olive oil comes in useful. We also have olive oil. We will also be putting that in there. It kind of loosens it up and helps it to blend. Um, so that's going to be going in there, and we will see how we get on. So, I am going to chop up the onion and put the frying pan on and then I will come back to you and show you where I am and how it's all going on. So, I will be back with you in a moment. Okay, slight amendment to the original recipe. Half of an enormous onion because I chopped it up and I thought, this is really quite enough for one person. I don't need all of it. So, I'm just putting that onion, as you can probably hear, into a frying pan and... All I've got in that frying pan is my onion and some coconut oil. 
I'm not showing you on the hob because my hob is filthy and needs cleaning. I really ought to clean before I do this. I'm just going to agitate that with a spatula a little bit. Just going to put it in there until it's got a little bit brown on the edges. Oh, you can't see me. Hello. <laughs> yes, I'm just popping it in there so it goes a little bit softened, a little bit brown around the edges, and then I'll take it off the heat. So that's really easy with the um, onion. And then, where's my spiralizer gone? What have I done with it? There it is. All you do with this, dead simple, take your courgette, put it in the spiralizer and start turning. Now then, it takes a little bit to get going, but you will get lovely, lovely noodles with this. Except I put it in the wrong end. Always the way, that's the end for long noodles. There's two ends on this. So you get one end for like whole big pieces and then the end for noodles. So let's try that again. Put it in the end for noodles, twist it and it'll come out, you can see, in ribbons. So you just do that with the whole thing. Um, doesn't take very long, quite easy to do. The only thing I will say with this is it's a bit of a pain to wash up. Um, because you have to try and get little bits of courgette out of the bottom of it. So, I'm just doing that as I'm talking to you. As I say, you end up with nice long ribbons which go all over the kitchen. <laughs> Making a nice mess. But it's good fun and it's much cheaper to buy a courgette once you've bought the spiralizer. up. I think my spiralizer cost me like £10 maximum, maybe £5 on eBay, I got it on a deal day, so, um, not on eBay, sorry, on Amazon, I got it on a special deal, so it didn't cost me very much at all, and I do use it, now, a lot of people don't use their spiralizers. um, there is a big thing about these being a waste of money, because you never use it, I use mine all the time, so I don't think it was a waste of money, now then, it has a nifty little gadget for the end bit, because there are little spokes on the bottom of this, so, stick it in the bottom of the courgette, and turn it a bit more than you would be able to with your fingers, so that you try to use the whole of the vegetable. Now you do end up with a leftover bit, like this. I'll just chop it up and bung it in. That's just what I do with that myself. So, that didn't take very long. And now I've got lovely courgette noodles and a little bit of extra courgette. I'm just gonna slice that up. And I will add that to my noodles in a minute. Just checking the onions, they're coming along. Yeah, we're getting there with them. It didn't take very long at all, the onions. Turn them down a bit. Just chopping up my courgette so that it's in small bits because obviously the rest of it is in ribbons. If I have big bits, it's going to take longer to cook, which will be annoying. So there's actually masses of this. <laughs> this will probably be two people for lunch. I'm not sure if it's just one, but I'm only having this. I'm not having anything with it. It's literally just this with the um, hummus so hopefully I'm not going to be absolutely stuffed but we will see <laughs> so I'll put that in the wash and then I wish I'd have put these in a bowl I need a bowl one second people I need a bowl so I'm going to put my finished product Product. this is my courgette that I've just Spiralised, that's good. I'm just going to pop that in a bowl out of the way. There's masses of it. This is a big portion. <laughs> I should have used a smaller courgette, but I didn't have one. So I'm just going to have to have a big portion of lunch. What a shame. So much for it being healthy and me losing weight on this diet. <laughs> um, it's not technically a diet diet. I'm just trying to be a bit more, be a bit more conscious of what I'm eating um, because I have put on weight over Christmas. Who hasn't? And I would like to lose it, since I managed to lose quite a lot of weight just before Christmas, and then I put it all back on again. Very annoying. So, this is my attempt at more healthy, less bread-focused. I eat too much bread. Um, bread is the devil. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with bread, but I just eat too much of it because I really like it, and it's not the healthiest thing. So, I'm trying to do more lunches without bread, is the point that I'm trying to get at here. Ugh, I waffle, don't I? Anyway, next step, I'm just going to get rid of the leftover bits. Then I'm not going to use, they can go in the bin. They're just a few little bits. And then to make the, to make the hummus, that's the thing I'm trying to think of, all I'm going to do is put those ingredients I showed you earlier in a blender. Where is the top of my blender? 
I'm just going to put them all in. So, where's the almonds? There's the almonds. This is going to be a long video. Almonds in the blender. That's the end of them. Tomatoes also in the blender. Now, I top and tail my garlic and peel it, but I'm not going to chop the actual cloves up because obviously they will be blended and I have quite a high powered blender. My blender, for the, if anybody is interested, is a Nutribullet. Um, I find they're quite good. Um, I've had mine, woo, how have I had it? Since Christmas, not this year, the one before. I use it every day, easily, once or twice a day, and it's still doing pretty good. So I'm happy with that. It's a lot more long lasting than previous blenders I've had. I really should stand more over here, sorry. <laughs> the wonders of having nowhere to put your camera in your kitchen whilst trying to make YouTube videos <laughs> ends up with you having me here most of the time talking to you, which is not very helpful. So I've just popped the garlic in there. I'm then going to add some lime juice. Now I roll my limes on a hard surface before I cut them because it's supposed to help release the juice. I don't know if it actually works, but that's what I've been told. So one lime. Now I'm going to start off with half a lime because I find citrus quite an overpowering flavour. Lots of people tell you to use lots of citrus in things and sometimes that's all I can taste. So. I'm going with half a lime to start with. Let's see how juicy this little fella is. Not that juicy. So I might use the whole lime because there's not a lot of juice coming out of that. <clears throat> Squeeze. Squeeze lime. Uh, hmm. I might add the other half later. Just going to get rid of the garlic paper. Paper? Coating, skin, stuff. And then what am I doing? I have forgotten what I'm doing. I need to find the blender. I am not going to blend this on camera because all you will hear is a horrible loud noise. So I will be back momentarily. So this is my blended, quite spicy. That's the garlic and the coriander. Um, I did end the, uh, blah, 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 start again. I did add the rest of the lime juice in there because I tasted it and wasn't strong enough. So all I'm doing now is I'm going to add this to the courgette and the onion which is in the frying pan i'll take you with me hang on wobbly camera bear with me just a second so it's easier if i take you over here so that you can see what i'm doing this is my very messy hob apologies about the hob guys but this is the courgette obviously in the frying pan with the almonds with the almonds with the onion where am i going to put you i don't know i'm just going to stir that in a bit whilst i talk to you this is very difficult to do hold this and do this at the same time uh, so I'm just trying to warm the courgette up a bit. Where can I put you? Let's see if you'll stay there. Hang on. I'm kind of seeing, excuse the lights, they do this weird thing when I'm trying to film for some reason. I get like beam shafts of light. So all I'm going to do is add the hummus to the pan. Scrape it out with the spatula. It's not the smoothest hummus in the world. Um, you probably need a higher blender for like really, really smooth. But I don't mind it a little bit bitty because I think it gives it quite a nice texture. Um, and I don't blend it for that long because I'm terrified of killing my blender motor. So that's gone in there. I'm just going to add that in. Try and warm that up a bit. This isn't that easy in a small frying pan. I should have used a bigger frying pan. The things you learn when trying to cook on YouTube. <laughs> it's always the way when I do a video that things don't go according to plan. Um, so I'm just going to add that in there, let that warm up a bit. It's not the prettiest looking meal, but I guarantee you it is going to taste absolutely blooming awesome. I'm just going to add a little bit more coconut oil just to loosen everything up a bit. Just let that cook for a few minutes and we should be done. So I will show you the finished product momentarily. No, I won't because we're still filming. So the final product isn't that pretty, as I said. It does look kind of odd, but spiralised courgette noodles with homemade almond flavour pesto, uh, not pesto, hummus. I'll get there one of these days. Healthy, easy to do, doesn't take very long at all, and it tastes flipping delicious.
I hope that you guys liked this uh, video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up below. And if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye for now. Have a great day. Bye.